Welcome to the land of the free and the home of the broke. In today's video, we're counting down the 10 top poorest states in the good old US of A. And that's right, we're taking a tour of the states where the American dream is more of a nightmare. Before we get into the nitty gritty details of why these states made it on our list, let's take a moment to reflect on the absurdity of it all. In a country where billionaires have more money than they know what to do with, it's mind boggling to think that there are entire states where people struggle to make ends meet. It's almost like the universe has a twisted sense of humor and decided to create a real life game of Survivor where instead of competing for a million dollars, you're just trying to keep a roof over your head and food on the table. But fear not, my friends. We're not here to just throw statistics and depressing facts at you. No, we are here to shine a light on the resilience and ingenuity of the people living in these states. Because let's be real, when life gives you lemons, you either make lemonade or start a profitable lemon farming business. All right, let's get right into it. Number 10, we've got Tennessee, almost fitting. <laughs> Now don't get me wrong, Tennessee is home to some great music, mouth-watering barbecue, and the famous Dolly Parton. But when it comes to poverty, Tennessee unfortunately takes the cake. According to recent statistics, Tennessee's poverty rate is at 15.8% with over a million residents living below the poverty line. That's one out of every six people in the state struggling to make ends meet. While Tennessee's unemployment rate is relatively low, many residents still have difficulty finding jobs that pay a livable wage. Tennessee's poverty rate is a complex issue with factors such as inadequate education, limited job opportunities, and lack of access to healthcare, all contributing to the problem. But there are organizations and community groups working to address these issues and make a positive impact on the lives of Tennesseans. Coming in at number 9 on our list is the Palmetto State, South Carolina. Known for its southern charm and warm hospitality, South Carolina has struggled with poverty in recent years. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the poverty rate in South Carolina is around 14% with a median household income of just over $51,000. One factor contributing to South Carolina's poverty is its struggling job market. The state has a high unemployment rate with many of its residents struggling to find work. Additionally, the state's education system has also been a cause for concern with many schools in low-income areas lacking adequate resources and funding. Despite its struggles, South Carolina remains a popular tourist destination with its beautiful beaches and historic sites drawing in visitors from all around the world. And with ongoing efforts to revitalize its economy and improve its education system, there is hope that South Carolina can rise above its current poverty levels. Number 8. It's time to mosey on over to the Sooner State where the wind comes sweeping down the plain and the poverty rate is unfortunately pretty high. Oklahoma may be known for its oil, cowboys, and tornadoes, but it's also home to over 600,000 people living in poverty. That's a poverty rate of 14.3%, which is higher than the national average. The state has struggled with poverty over the years, with many of its residents working low-wage jobs and struggling to make ends meet. Despite its rich Native American history and booming oil industry, Oklahoma still struggles with economic inequality. The state's low median household income of $52,000 is one factor contributing to this, as is the fact that more than one in five children in Oklahoma are unfortunately living in poverty. While the cost of living is generally lower in Oklahoma compared to other states, many families still do struggle to make ends meet. And with limited access to affordable healthcare and education, the cycle of poverty can be a difficult one to break. Number seven. We're heading down south to sweet home Alabama. Now don't get us wrong, Alabama has a lot going for it. It's the birthplace of the civil rights movement, the home of some incredible barbecue, and the birthplace of some great musicians like Hank Williams and Nat King Cole. However, despite all of these great things, Alabama is still one of the poorest states in the US. So what's the deal? Well, for starters, Alabama's poverty rate is at a staggering 15%, which is one of the highest in the country. And it's not just poverty that's a problem. Alabama also struggles with education, with one of the lowest high school graduation rates in the U.S. A United Nations official investigating poverty in the United States was shocked at the level of environmental degradation in some areas of rural Alabama, saying that he has never seen anything like it in the developed world. As they toured a community in Butler County where, I quote, Raw sewage flows from homes and through exposed PVC pipes and into open trenches and pits. Can you imagine that? Number six, Arkansas. Arkansas might be known as the natural state, but unfortunately it's also known for having one of the highest poverty rates in the country. According to recent data, around 15% of the state's population lives below the poverty line, which is significantly higher than the national average. So what's contributing to Arkansas's poverty problem? Well, a big part of it is the lack of well-paying jobs in the state. 
Many industries such as manufacturing and agriculture have been declining in recent years, leaving many people struggling to make ends meet. The median hourly wage for all occupations in the state was $17.81 as of 2023. That's significantly lower than its national counterpart at $22.65 an hour. In addition, the state's education system ranks low in terms of educational attainment which can make it difficult for residents to obtain high-paying jobs. Having one of the lowest graduation rates in the nation, the people of Arkansas also suffer from a lack of investment in teacher salaries. This has resulted in larger class sizes and fewer opportunities for students to receive individualized instruction from qualified educators. Number five, Kentucky. Despite being home to the Kentucky Derby and some of the world's best bourbon, Kentucky has a poverty rate of around 15%, which is higher than the national average. Kentucky is home to some of the richest natural resources in the United States, and yet its poverty rate remains one of the highest in the country. So it does beg the question, why is Kentucky so poor? The answer partially lies in Kentucky's history of low-wage jobs. Since the state's founding, there have been few opportunities for those living in Kentucky to make a decent wage and provide adequately for their families. This lack of job security has caused an overall decrease in wages across the state and kept many of its citizens living below the poverty line. For many people living in Kentucky, their livelihoods are tied to industries such as coal mining and agriculture. These industries have faced significant challenges over the recent years. With these sectors not providing enough jobs or wage growth for its citizens, it's no surprise that so many communities are facing financial hardships. In addition to low-wage jobs, Kentucky suffers from inadequate education with underfunded schools and substance abuse plagues the state, with recent studies showing that many of the Kentucky citizens struggle with both substance abuse and mental health issues. Number four, West Virginia. Now, I don't know about you, but when I think of West Virginia, my mind always immediately goes to John Denver's country roads and those rolling hills. But unfortunately, those hills don't necessarily mean financial stability for the state's residents. In fact, West Virginia has one of the lowest median household incomes in the country at just over $45,000 a year, with around 16% of people living in poverty. Today, West Virginia remains one of the poorest states in the country, where one in five children struggle to access food. With some of the worst healthcare, education levels, and employment rates, West Virginia's entrenched poverty is told in data points. The economy has historically relied on industries such as coal and mining, timber and manufacturing. However, with the decline of these industries in recent decades, the state has struggled to find new sources of economic growth. Coal mine closures began to impact the West Virginian economy in the 1960s, leaving the state with a declining population and workforce for generations. Lawmakers did promise coal's comeback or other well-paying jobs, but those pipe dreams never quite panned out. A dwindling student population led to school consolidations, while the state simultaneously experiences a troubling teacher shortage. There's just not enough teachers. West Virginia has 10,000 homeless students, as defined by the U.S. Department of Education, yet lawmakers have largely ignored the issue. Number three, New Mexico, the land of enchantment. But unfortunately, enchantment doesn't always pay the bills. Yes, New Mexico is home to some amazing sites like the Carlsbad Caverns, the Rio Grande, and of course, Breaking Bad's iconic RV. But despite all of its natural beauty and cultural heritage, poverty still remains a pervasive issue for the state. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, New Mexico's poverty rate stands at 16%, making it one of the poorest states in the country. The state has struggled with high unemployment rates, a lack of economic diversification, and an education system that's been slow to adapt to changing economic demands. In fact, New Mexico's education system ranks among the worst in the nation, which can make it very difficult for residents to secure good-paying jobs. Despite these challenges, New Mexico has a lot of potential. The state's proximity to Mexico and its rich cultural history do offer unique opportunities for economic growth, and there are many organizations and individuals working to improve the state's economic prospects. Coming in at number two, Louisiana. Louisiana is a state that many consider to be one of the most vibrant and beautiful places in the United States, known for its vibrant music scene and delicious Cajun cuisine. However, despite its cultural richness and natural beauty, Louisiana still remains one of the poorest states in the country with 
8% living in poverty. And you may be wondering why. The agricultural sector used to be the foundation of Louisiana's economy, providing jobs, resources, and income for generations. However, recent years have seen the industry suffer significant setbacks due to changes in global markets and trade policies. This, of course, has led to fewer jobs and opportunities for farmers, resulting in fewer people working in agricultural-related industries. Louisiana also has been plagued by political corruption and poor economic policies that have kept it at the bottom of nearly every national ranking for wealth. Decades of corrupt politicians have allowed special interests to strip away much needed funding from necessary public services such as education and infrastructure repair. Furthermore, tax breaks given to wealthy companies have drained away the revenue needed to fund public programs that could benefit the people of Louisiana. As a result, many communities continue to struggle with inadequate access to basic necessities like clean water and healthcare services. And oh yeah, let's not forget about high taxes. When it comes to taxes, few states compare with Louisiana's restrictive levels. With some of the highest property taxes in the country, plus sky-high sales taxes, people of Louisiana are paying more for their fair share of state services. Did we also forget to mention natural disasters? Hurricane Katrina and other storms have caused major damage to Louisiana's infrastructure, including roads and homes. So yeah, Louisiana hasn't had the best or the easiest time, unfortunately. Coming in at number one, the poorest state in America is Mississippi. Mississippi is the land of blues, soul, and jazz. This southern state is famous for its music, food, and hospitality, but unfortunately, it's also famous for being the poorest state in the USA. Mississippi has been struggling with poverty for decades, with an 18.7% poverty rate, and the problem only seems to be getting worse. All of Mississippi's problems can be traced back to the Delta. If you excluded the Delta, Mississippi might be statistically insignificant as far as the southern states in America go. The majority of black people living there can trace back their roots to slave plantations that are probably close to where they live now. There is still racism in Mississippi, which can make getting ahead pretty difficult for poor black people. Top of all of this, Mississippi is seriously experiencing food insecurity. For the past 10 years or so, the state has been the hungry state in the USA. The state currently has 600,000 citizens and 20% of the population in the state are considered to have food problems. Estimates suggest that Mississippi would need $300 million every single year to be able to meet the needs of the state. Even though they are already the hungriest state in the country, Mississippi is also considered the poorest of all states. 50 out of the 82 counties in Mississippi are considered to be living in extreme poverty. So yeah, being the state with the highest rate of poverty in the country, lack of access to certain benefits, lack of grocery stores, high healthcare costs, institutional racism that has negative effects on marginalized racial groups, it's easy to see why Mississippi tops a list of top 10 poor states in America every single year. So that concludes this extremely depressing video. Maybe I can redeem myself and make a top 10 richest states video next time to balance everything out. And I just want to clarify, there's no hate for any of these states. I was purely going off of statistics. Even though these states aren't doing too well compared to the other neighboring states in America, many of them are still incredibly beautiful with lots of reasons to visit. Anyways, we'll catch you on our next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.